Whenever anybody thinks of fine English gun making, certainly one of the names that comes up is Holland and Holland. Holland and Holland is, is a storied manufacturer um, right out of London. And we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, just, just the basic history of the company um, and then go through some of the models, um, some of the most famous models that they've manufactured over the year and that we're gonna have upcoming in this premier auction. So Holland and Holland had a more modest start than some of the other well-known best quality manufacturers coming out of London. So Harris Holland, uh, who is one of the founders of Holland and Holland, uh, he actually started out in, uh, in the earlier 19th century as a pipe organ uh, apprentice. So he started out in that, uh, in that trade. Um, eventually, uh, for whatever reason, he opened a tobacco shop, got out of the, the pipe organ uh, industry and, and opened a tobacco shop. And uh, that, that's what he was doing until up, up, about 1845, right when um, Henry Holland, who would be the second part of Holland and Holland was born, uh, that's when Harris Holland started manufacturing guns. He, he originally was listed as both a tobacco dealer and a gun maker uh, in, the, in the local directories. Um, but by about 1850, he was really doing, uh, dealing strictly with the firearms um, and, and had started to make a name for himself. Eventually, um, he decided to, to move his shop uh, to kind of a more prestigious location and, and move to the famous 98 New Bond Street, which uh, will forever be linked with Holland in Holland. Um, and then uh, at about 1860 is when uh, Henry Holland uh, joined him as an apprentice there, uh, his nephew Henry Holland. Um, Harris did not have any kids of his own, so, so Henry was certainly taken under his wing. And as Harris Holland decided he wanted to begin to think about retiring, uh, that's when he brought Henry Holland in as a partner and created the now famous Holland and Holland Gunmakers. When Henry joined uh, the firm, Holland and Holland still did not have the prestige that they do yet today, um, but they slowly started to build that up. Um, they got into uh, obviously the early uh, technology of breech loaders at the time. Um, they started getting into the, the rifle manufacturing. Um, and I'm sure you've noticed uh, if you've ever looked at an older Holland and Holland, uh, a lot of them will say on they're the winner of all the field trials in 1883. The Field was a very well-known sporting magazine at the time in London, and in 1883 they did a field trial test uh, where they had all the rifles from the different manufacturers uh, come to their facility, and they had 10 different uh, action types that they tested. Holland and Holland was the only one to have an entry into all 10 action types, kind of showing the diversity of the different uh, firearms that they made. But not only did, were they the only ones to have in all 10, they won all 10 uh, different actions uh, for the field trial. So uh, obviously that was a very impressive feat at the time, but clearly that they were making the best rifles in London at the time. Uh, so obviously th they wanted to market that right on the gun. So you'll see many of the guns from that time uh, with that marking on it. And, and obviously that just kind of helped to create the prestige uh, of their factory and of their, uh, of their guns. So uh, eventually, uh, in the early 1890s, 1893, right around 1893, that was when they developed the Royal model. And that's like the most famous Holland and Holland uh, model to this day. It's the best quality, uh, whether it be the, sh the shotgun or the double rifle. Um, when you think of a Holland and Holland Royal, that, that is the best quality out there. So, um, and, and they just continued, they still, they still manufacture that, uh, that model today because you just, you really can't improve upon it. Uh, that's obviously just some of the early history of how Holland and Holland was formed and how they gained their prestige uh, as one of the finest gun makers in London. Um, obviously through the 20th century, through the golden age of gun making, of British gun making, um, they were right there at the top. Uh, again, with the Royal, the Royal Deluxe models, their double rifles, the Royal double rifles, eventually the Paradox, um, which we'll talk about here. But, uh, and that's kind of what we've got here is, is just a display uh, of some of the guns um, that they're most well known for over the years. So, uh, and these are all gonna be upcoming in this, in this uh, next premier auction. So we're just gonna start with the paradox, uh, which I briefly mentioned before. Um, so, I mean, just the word paradox, right? It, it, it means something that's contradictory, um, but ends up becoming uh, something of value. So that's what we've got right here. Basically what a paradox is, is a shotgun bore, a smooth bore with a rifled 
barrel at the end. So it would have been made for any of your ball on shot. Um, you know, it, it, a very multi-purpose gun. Um, obviously, when we start talking about African safaris, you can see it'd be a ton of uses for something like that. So uh, Mr. Fosbury is the one who patented that um, and, and Holland and Holland certainly hooked, uh, latched onto it right away uh, and, and came up with their famous Paradox shotgun. So that's what we've got right here is a 12 bore Paradox. Just an absolutely uh, fantastic uh, piece of wood. Uh, great cage colors on it, a fairly unadorned uh, lock, which makes sense. I mean, they were meant to be used. We've seen some really highly uh, aesthetic uh, paradoxes as well, but you know, most of them were meant to be used and certainly this one was. Once again, just an awesome uh, Holland and Holland gun that we have. And this one actually comes to us from the Tom Selleck collection. Uh, obviously you, you're very familiar with Mr. Selleck and, and his, uh, his collection that we've been marketing here the past uh, couple of auctions, so. Next up, we're gonna talk about one of the Royal Double Rifles. Again, we talked earlier about the fact that the Royal is, is really kind of the most famous Holland and Holland model. Um, and this is, uh, this is of superb quality and engraving here that we see a, a lot of times with the Royal. Again, that's, that's like their highest end gun. So you would see these very highly adorned at times. This one is, it was engraved by Ken Prater, a well-known English engraver. And here we have just some wonderful African game scenes on here. Um, obviously the most notable on the on the left side here we have a gold inlaid rhinoceros um, and, and we've each scene uh, for the most part the main scenes have some sort of native hunter um, this one here appears to be running from the rhinoceros on the right side here we have a big tusker a uh, big bull elephant with a uh, native hunter um, looks like he's kind of staying his ground behind a tree uh, and then on the bottom, uh, we have one that's about ready to throw a spear at another uh, large bull elephant. Um, so those are the three main scenes, but then there's all kinds of other um, different game scenes within here. It looks like we've got a sable on the trigger guard, uh, a flamingo of some sort here um, uh, on the extension. There we see a little hyena, some other birds throughout. Here we have a cheetah, uh, and then both the barrels uh, are engraved with different scenes, as well as um, two big male lions on each one of the fences, uh, as well as a uh, lioness on the uh, top tang and another lioness uh, there as well. So just, just all kinds of little hidden scenes, another one there. Uh, throughout the gun. So it's kind of cool to take a look through it and just see all the different hidden uh, hidden game scenes that they put put on this rifle. But again, that's a, a Royal double rifle with, with uh, you know, exhibition quality engraving um, that, that we see from time to time from Holland and Holland just kind of displays the, not only the quality of the gun making, but also the quality of the engraving uh, that they're able to provide to their customers. Next, we're gonna move on to the shotguns. Um, Obviously, we talked about a little bit about the Royal Shotguns. We'll talk a little bit more, but uh, during the mid 20th century, um, manufacturers started to get into the over-under market. Um, you know that as opposed to the side-by-sides and, and that battle kind of still rages today on, on which people prefer, which one's better. But, but Holland and Holland certainly started to um, uh, manufacture and market their own over-unders. This is actually a more modern, uh, what they would call a trigger plate gun. Uh, so, you know, as opposed to side locks uh, where you have the action on here, this action is, is a very more modern action where the, all of the components are on top of this trigger plate. There's just a little bar, essentially, where the trigger is at, um, and that that all the entire action sits on that bar. Um, so these are just side plates. They still, you know, obviously want to have a, a nice canvas for the engraving, which just has beautiful uh, scroll engraving with with pheasants throughout. Um, but the 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 action itself, it's, it's meant more for your sporting. Uh, a lot of your different shooting sports um, to where you have this real simple but but highly effective high quality uh, action that can can be more easily maintained so that's the idea behind the trigger plate actions um, but again it's it's Holland and Holland they're gonna um, they're, they're gonna also be very not only functional but but also very uh, very attractive so 
Uh, here you see we, here we have a lab with the duck in its mouth as well engraved on the bottom. So um, again, just it's kind of a matter of, of Holland and Holland keeping with innovation throughout the years and that's certainly, certainly a sign of that. Uh, and next we're going to go to the, uh, as I mentioned before, that famous Royal model. Um, these are the Royal shotguns, which is really what started the Royal models. Um, but these are not just your standard Royal models. These are the Royal Deluxe model. Uh, the Deluxe model is something that they uh, eventually added to really just signify not only the top quality craftsmanship that they were already manufacturing, but just the, the, the level of engraving, the level of finish work um, that they would do on these. Uh, this pair, this is actually a pair of sub-gauge Holland and Holland model deluxes um, that come to us from the Tom Selleck collection. Now, Mr. Selleck had these uh, manufactured for him uh, around 1985, um, which are noted uh, by the, the special 1985 um, uh, sesquicentennial of Holland and Holland. So here we can see Holland and Holland 1835 to 1985. So 150 years uh, they celebrated in 1985 when he had these manufactured. Uh, these guns are both engraved by Philippe Griffney. Uh, now we've sold some of Mr. Griffney's engraved Holland and Hollands, uh, which have started to become very highly collectible since Mr. Griffney's passing. Uh, he's one of the, the best uh, engravers uh, throughout the years, so his stuff is very, really high, very highly sought after. Here you can see both these, because they are sub-gauges, we've kind of got some, some different small game. Uh, here we've got uh, a pair of pheasants uh, on this side coming out of the corn. Uh, on the bottom here we have a setter in the frame. Uh, and then there we have a couple woodcock uh, in a wood scene there. Obviously this one's got the gold inlaid one for being the number one gun. And then as we go to the number two gun, Looks like we've got more woodcock on that side, some bobwhite quail, and here we have a spaniel uh, inset there. So uh, again, both these engraved by Philippe Griffney, both just super high quality walnut. Um, and like, uh, like the guns, these come with a full complementary of, of high quality Holland and Holland accessories. Uh, I believe we've got two cases for this gun, uh, a motor case and, and kind of your standard oak and leather case. Uh, once again, just another great pair uh, of shotguns from the Tom Selleck collection. So, uh, you know, that's just kind of the history, a little bit of the basic history of, of one of London's uh, most storied gun makers in Holland and Holland, um, and some of the models that they've been well known for over the years. Uh, and these are all coming up in our August premiere sale, which is August 25th, 26th, 27th, with a full day preview on August 24th. Uh, please go to our website, rockislandauction.com, to check out more photos, more information on these guns, as well as all the the other firearms we have coming up uh, in our August premiere sale.